Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. But he ain't got no damn classification. Did he go do that? No. Read it again. Thine ox oh, shall be slain yeah. before thine ox. Yeah. So the Bible says right, our bro. ox. What? The when the Native Americans was here, we had a uh, food no source. Hope. Ox, buffalo, and things of that yeah, nature. No it said it's going to be violently yeah. taken away. Yeah. Watch this. And thou, and thou shalt not eat thereof. And you ain't going to eat it. Go ahead. Thine ass shall be violently taken away. So, in other words, your belongings are going to be violently taken away. Did That's that happen right. to the Native Americans? Yeah. Yes. Read. From before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. And what? Shall not be restored to thee. So, most of the times we go ask for reparations. We go ask, government, give us this. We need this because of slavery. We need this because you stole our land. You colonized our land. You colonized our brains. And what do we do? We go ask them for reparations. Every good. year, that, if you look at the presidential, the presidential debates, that, don't pay him no mind, since he's the devil. You're the father of lies. Right. Who is Whenever, we? Every presidential election, it? isn't that a question that, that that's always comes up? Oh, are you for reparations or for against? Bible? Right? So that question has been coming up ever since slavery, sis. And none of them have given us reparations. Because right. why? Because the Bible says we're not going to get it. You understand? Now, my question is, why don't we get reparations? Why are we in this low state? Why are we bugged out of our minds? Why? The white man. Why is the white man allowed to do that to us? How did that happen? Because the white man. If we listen, if we're God's chosen people, right? How in the hell are we living like this? Bring it up. The white man in control. How did he get in control if we're God's chosen people? Bring it up. Living like what? Now, that's a good question. That's a that's a good answer. That's an honest answer. Now, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm, we're gonna show you why we live the way we do. Because Bring it we broke out. God's laws. Yes. You understand? And sis, we refuse to get our minds right. We refuse. All praises. So you're willing to get your mind right? I already got my mind right. I go to church. You're trying to figure out why you're girl. Well, this ain't about church, sis. Look, look at this sign right here. Look, look down, look down. See this right here, sis? In your church, what kind of, what, what denomination are you? Huh? Holiness? What is that? What's holiness? That's just another denomination? Okay, just a name. All right. But now, does Jesus in your church look something like this? I don't know how yeah, hell, So they don't have an image of Christ? No. So what does Christ look like? What does Christ look like, sis? I don't know. So don't you think? Now, okay. So guess what? i never seen George Washington. What color is George Washington? So, but you never seen him. Bring it out. But he white. I know he's How do you know he white? So how you, but he's a what? Okay, but you've never seen him before. You understand my point? So Jesus is also, his description is in the Bible. You know that? So what color is Jesus? Okay, so now we're going to get a few, right? Watch this. Revelation 1, watch this. So now we're going to show you something. We're going to show you something in the Bible that your church does not teach. You gotta, you gotta figure that. Why does my church teach me this? Watch this. Revelation chapter one and verse fourteen. What's your name? What's your name, brother? Thank you, Dad. Russell. So what we're going over is right now the true image of Christ. Okay. We're gonna prove that. Don't paint nothing. Right. And what we're gonna prove to you, Russell, is that we're doing the same exact thing as they doing. He said, "Don't paint nothing." Watch this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Sister, what's your name? Yeah, bro, I, man, it don't matter, bro. I live out faith. I can live out faith. It don't matter, bro. So, I'm going to show you two pictures. See that white one down there? Yeah, We've got this all throughout know. slavery. We've got this. Like this has been in the earth for centuries, sis. Now, we're going to determine does Christ look more like this or more like this? Oh, 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 sis, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. Let's get the description. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Which one is correct so far? Is this white and woody or is that white and woody? No, I'm, I'm 
This one, right? Like our hair, sis. Right? Read. As white as snow. Fully white, sis. Fully white. That's stringy and that's 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 Edomite here, white people here, right? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drunk what? They got Puerto Rican. Wine. Yeah, what happens? Right. Like so the white eyes go go red when you drink wine, right? Read. And his feet. Now he's look. Now this is John the Revelator looking at Jesus Christ's feet. Like unto fine brass. Sis, what color is brass? You are very simple, right? So wait a minute. Do you think Christ had feet that were brown and his face looked like this? Exactly. Exactly. But let's there's more, there's more. Watch this. As if they burn in a furnace. Wait a minute. You take that brown and you burn it in a furnace. Now what color is Christ? White. I already know them. I don't know the spirit, bro. I know no, them. I'm trying to what? Oh, a dark chocolate black, black man. Yes. 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 So he said, he said Christ was like he burnt in a furnace. He was so damn dark. You understand? So Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Christ That's is our king, our savior, our That's forefather. Bad, you understand? What 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 so there ain't no white man. But why? Now you got to think. Why did my, chief, my church not teach me that? That Christ looked like me? Because guess what? If Christ looked like you and me, what did his mama and his daddy look like? Wait a minute. Who you mean Hebrews 7 14? What did his tribe look like? Wait a minute. But when I turned on CNN and NBC and, and MSNBC, the Jews are white. Wow! But Christ is a, wasn't Christ a Jew? So Christ was a Jew. Christ was a Jew, sis. So what that make you? A Jew. What that make us? We the Jews of the Bible, sis. We are the Israelites, sis. You understand? That's what we prove it. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord. Who's our Lord? Lord sprang out of Judah. See that, sister? He was from the mighty tribe of Judah. You understand? So who what? Guess who? Guess who? Judah. Right, the American black. So Christ was a Jew, sister. Because he's a he's from the tribe of Judah. You understand? Let's go. Read it again. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah. Judah. You understand that? Give me Proverbs 30 and 30. Let's, let's see some more, sis. We're going to find out some more things. Watch this. I'm going to show you about the tribe of Judah. Proverbs 30 and 30. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 30. A lion, which is strongest among beasts, and turneth not away for any. No, give me Job 30, 30 and 30. Watch this. Give me Job 30 and 30. Watch this. Job 30 and 30. So what we're going to prove, sis? We're the children of Israel. We are the Israelites. Yes, that's what that's what God said. Job chapter thirty and verse thirty. My skin is black upon me, and my what did the Bible say? My skin is black upon me. What did the Bible say? My skin is black upon me. You know what the Bible says? Is my skin? This is the prophet Job. So he said, "My too. shut up, right? brother. Damn, yes, you got no order, yeah. man. You Go teach somewhere." Go somewhere, go teach. Black. She don't want to talk to you. She don't want to talk to you. Sis, do you want to talk to him? I, I, I bet I can get on. Do you want to talk to him, sis? If she ain't mad, I bet I can get Do you want to talk to him, sis? In front of you. She don't want to talk to you. Yes, Read it again. Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. What did the Bible say? My skin. So we're talking about skin color. Skin color is in the Bible, hey, sister. Read. Read. My skin is black upon me. Read. And my bones are burned with heat. Now give me, give me, um, give me Deuteronomy, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm trying to figure out what I'm getting So the Jews are black. That's what God said. There's no such thing as a white Jew. There's no such thing as a red Jew. The real Jews are black. And guess where he at, sis? In the ghettos of America. That's right. In sin. Read. Okay, so why Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth 
and the gates that have language. So once again, the topic is who, sis? Who's the topic? Huh? Where everybody else? Judah. That's the topic. Read it again for the topic. Judah. What's the topic? Yeah. Judah mourning. So the Bible says Judah is in mourning. Exactly. Are we in mourning? Yes. We're at the bottom wherever we go. Read. And the gates thereof language. When you put a gate around your house, what is the gate for? We're rough comedians, brother. Protection. So now, for Judah or our people, who would be our protection? No, no, no. Listen close. No. Our, our leaders. In other words, our leaders are supposed to protect us, aren't they? It's supposed to make sure policies pass so we are protected. We're, we're treated fairly in this land. Aren't they, is that, ain't that what black leaders are supposed to do? Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, and all these people, right? Arthur King, Malcolm, all these people, right? But the Bible says they're languishing. Meaning they're not right. They're not going to be able to help us. Read. They are black. What did the Bible say? They are black. No, they're white. They are black. No, Judah's red. They are black. That's what the Bible says, sis. They are black. The Jews are black, sis. That's what God said. Now, let me ask you a question, sis. Your nationality, what is it? You talking about what I am? Yeah, what's your nationality? I said Cherokee. We the ones Cherokee over there Indian. by okay. Now, you can't tell it? My I don't even get there. Okay. My question is, is was you something before being called the Cherokee Indian? Said, now man I know. Power. Now, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Now, guess what? Know. At one time, sis, person, we all didn't they know. That's until right. Until we what? studied. Right? So they we're going to show you something. I'm going to show you a prophecy right? first of what you just said. I don't know. A lot of us didn't know. Why? Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself. What's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina, right? Even Sabrina. Shall discontinue from thine heritage. Ain't that what happened to us, sis? Did we not discontinue from our true identity, our true nationality? Right. Now we call ourselves black. We call ourselves Negro. We call ourselves African American. What's our real heritage? What's our Don't culture? No more, I mean. Our culture is God's laws, sis. That's right. Right. Read. And faith. Shall discontinue. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So who gave us that heritage? God gave it to us, sis. And what do we do with that heritage? We said, I don't want that heritage. I want to be like everybody else. Irrelevant. What happened to us? Irrelevant. We ended up, what happened? Irrelevant. Very good. He cut us off, meaning what? He get look, down, look down, look down, look down, look down. Look down. What happened to us? Look, look, look at it, look. Slavery. slavery happens, sis. Right. So God used the other nation that we are supposed to be over and put us in slavery system. You understand? Now we got 64,000 missing black women in America right now. Did you know that? Yeah, that's what's happening. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Guess what, sister? Guess where that's found? In the Bible. That's right. In the Bible, sister. To happen to us with disobedience to God. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 41. Bring it out. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. So, this is, don't we have sons and daughters, right? We have sons and daughters. You have a daughter, you have, you have no, kids I have in this name? Boys. You got two boys. You got young boys. 15 and 13. 15 and 13. Okay. Because guess what else is happening in America? Boys are getting kidnapped too. No, li listen, listen. Huh? Yeah, we pray for our kids, right? But they're still getting snatched up. The boys are getting snatched up for their organs. Yeah, but I tell them, don't, they got phones. Uh -huh. Okay, but that could still happen, sis. A, a, a big burly man could just take the phones, throw it, throw it across the, 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 the parking lot, and take your boys. You understand? This, this is reality, sister. We're not out here to play games. Bring it up. This is real life things going on here. What? Read that again. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. So you got you got the sons. I got a daughter and a son, right? Daughter, I got two daughters and a son. Watch. But thou shalt not enjoy them. Why? For they shall go into captivity. Because they're gonna go into captivity. They're being held captive against their will. Nobody know where the hell they at. Sixty-four thousand missing black women, and the brother got the nerve coming my face talking about talking nonsense. You understand, sis? Right. But nobody worries about our sisters or our brothers with sex trafficking. What you think about that, sis? I don't like Tell it. Tell me what you think. I don't like it. That's all you gotta say? What you think? I wanna know I mean, what, what do you what is the solution it's, against it's this sad, stuff? It's sad. 
What is the solution, sis? Oh, uh, a drug, a drug them up and say, make them uh, no, prostitutes. No, no, no. The solution to stop them from being caught up in sex That's trafficking. Right. What is the solution? Look at our sister right there. Look. Look how she dressed. What you think about that? What you think when sex trafficking can see our sisters dressed like that? Who do you think they're going to target? Exactly, sister. So let me give you a law and a solution for that. First Timothy 2 and 9. Look, you see what she did? She said, suck my D. That's what our sisters are doing. And then when it gets caught with sex trafficking, then you're going to be crying and all drugged up and giving a cooch to every damn body. That's fact and reality, man. First Timothy 2 and 9. I want you to listen close. Real quick, sis. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So one solution is that our sister to dress modestly. Stop showing it behind to every man. Every man don't mean you no good. You understand? They want to take you and prostitute you out. Make money off of you. Make money off your organs. Your damn liver and your heart. Right. Read it again. And All right, sis, we got a, a, our address on the back of the school. Come get with us, sis. Okay. We got sis that can teach you. Okay. All, right? All right? Let's go. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So our sisters are supposed to dress modest. You understand, sister? Sis right here in the yellow. Yeah, yellow. Yeah, you understand? Our sisters are supposed to be modest, right? Did your mama wear pants back in the days? Or did you? No? So how did it happen that you now wear pants? Because of white Jesus, Babylon the Great, man. That's why. That's why our sisters do what they do. Okay? We got to come out of that thing. You got to be strong enough to say, hell no, I ain't following America. I ain't following your Thanksgiving and your garbage. You murdered my family, my, my brothers and my native 77 million Native American Indians and, and had a dinner celebration. Now we celebrate the same damn dinner. Right. Well, how the hell did that happen? Let's go. First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel, modest clothing. Our sisters would not be targets if they were dressed modestly. That's right. right. Modesty. Okay? 64,000 of our sisters missing, they still got their breasts out, they got their behinds out. You're a walking target. Yeah, you're going to get kidnapped out here messing around. Some evil Negro will, sister, you understand what I just said? There's 64,000, they don't care. They don't care at all. The black women don't care at all. Let's go. With shame facedness. Shamefacedness. Like Our sisters are supposed to be shamefaced. Shamefaced. Always giggling, laughing, all up in some man's face. Read. With shamefacedness and sobriety. And sober. That's another problem. Sister, do you know there's 64,000 missing black women in America? You know that? Do you care? Yeah, of course. So what are we going to do about it? What are you doing about it? I can't hear you. What can we do about it? What we can do is change our mindset so these things can stop happening mindset, and prevent it. Change mindset, them down boot, maybe somebody will follow our the lead. Our mindset can't determine it. Our mindset can't determine it. I have a mindset that I'm going to check my surroundings every day. Anybody can snatch me. You know where you at right now? Yeah. I got your back. You in the hood. You know where right? that might snatch you. This, 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 I'm all right. This not you know, you know this hut. I got, I got your back. There's people that do these things just, out here. Just, right? I appreciate just because they're doing that, I hear Y'all gonna have my fucking married nine year old girls and shit. He's in the way. I can't hear you. Y'all gonna be the ones snatching up, motherfucker. I'm gonna y'all ass. Sis, say it again. I can't say it again. This not considered good. But there's people out here from the hood. You don't get it, right? Thank you. So you don't care. Man, this is Judah, boy. You better watch out. So you don't care. Huh? This is my Zion, you didn't know that, did you? Our sisters don't care, man. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. Read it again, bro. First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also. What you say? What you say? You're not going to condemn. Did I condemn anybody? Yeah, you just said what? She lost what? What you say about her? Look at you, a weirdo, nigga. No, you the weirdo. You're a weirdo. What you just say to her? I said what I said to her. Are you going to do something about it? Are you going to do anything about it? In what form? Any form. Yeah. What are you going to do? 
Don't worry about it. Oh, exactly. You ain't going to do a Christ damn thing but run your mouth. Christ. You're going to right. run your mouth. Christ. That's what you're going to do. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You ain't going to do crap. You ain't going to do anything. Great. In like manner also, huh? that women adore themselves in modest apparel. So our women are supposed to be in modest apparel, not showing their behinds, not showing their breasts, not in tight pants. That's why you gay. Read. With shamefacedness and sobriety. Shamefaced and sober. Not high on pills, not high on drugs, not drunk. That's what's going on with our sisters. They're not supposed to be drunk. They're not supposed to be high. Read. Not with bloody hair or gold or pearls or costly array. But which be sister right here, sis, sis, sister. Read. But which becometh women professing godliness. So our women are supposed to profess godliness. Godliness. Give me, give me hey, Ecclesiastes eight and five. Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. So the Bible says our women are supposed to act godly. Godly. What does it mean to be godly? Following God's laws. So now, let's find out what would happen. Brother man, brother man, you heard about our women being, being taken to sex trafficking? You heard about that? Yes, sir. Now, how do we combat that? Right now, there's 64,000 missing black women in America, and nobody seems to care. Nobody's saying nothing about it. What are we going to do? Huh? Like what? What are we going to do about our sisters missing? Uh, these people taking their organs. Right now, there's a Chinese man walking around. There's an old, 100-year-old Chinese man walking around with some black woman's heart. Some 20-year-old black woman's heart. He gonna live another 20 years. That's right. What are we gonna do? Tell me, brother. All we can do is pray, man. All we can do is pray. That's it, huh? All Just pray. Like what? Like what? Uh, awareness. Okay. Awareness. Right now, Israel United Christ is spreading the gospel and providing awareness of what's going on with the sex trafficking right now. What the hell are y'all doing? That's what I want to do. What y'all doing about it? Okay? What y'all doing, man? Y'all don't give a damn about each other. Right. Y'all gotta wake the hell up. Wake up, brothers. Especially you black men. Wake the hell up. That's right. Y'all asleep in America. Y'all are bugged out in America, man. We gotta wake up and take care of each other. Ain't that what Christ said? Love your neighbor as yourself? Bring it up. What the hell are y'all doing about it? 64,000 missing black women. And guess who they being taken by, brother? Brother, guess who they being taken by? Their own people. That's right. Evil. So one way to prevent this is to teach our people, teach these evil brothers that no, that's your sister. Right. That's your that's your sister, man. And you are an Israelite just like her. You can't take her. You can't kidnap her. That's evil. Come on, read it. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 5. Bring it out. Whoso keepeth the commandments. Oh, you hear that, brother? God said, Whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. That's what God said. God said, If you keep the law, I'm going to protect you. That's right. You understand? Isaiah 59 and 1. Let's go. Isaiah 59 and 1. Bring it That's out. what God said. You keep God's laws, I'm going to protect you. But if you're doing thanksgiving, which is sin, brother. Right. No protection for you. You understand? That's already finished. It's a finished so, did, so my question, you did it yesterday, right? Thursday. But you gotta repent. You understand, brother? You gotta repent. Let's go. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. You hear what God said? My hand ain't short that I can't pull you out the fire. My hand ain't short, read. That it cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. So God said, my ear ain't that heavy that I can't hear you. I can hear your prayers when you're keeping God's commandments, though. Right? Wait, 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 bro. Wait, wait, wait. Read. But your, However, your iniquities. Your what? Iniquities have separated between you and your God. You see what the, see what the problem is, brother? Now that we're in sin, we are susceptible to every evil right. to each other right. and from the other nations, that's brother. Right. You understand? That's what God said. We have no protection if we're not keeping God's laws. Right. 
Am I right or am I wrong, brother? You don't have Malcolm X. Huh? You don't have Malcolm X. Exactly. That's what God said. So what do we got to do? So what we got? We got to repent. You understand? You got to humble yourself. Very good, brother. Hey, 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 brother, brother. Tell him that. Tell him that. Tell him that. Say it, say it loud. Come and say it on the mic, brother. Say it on the mic. Say, say what? I say you got to humble yourself before God. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother, because we got a bugged out brother for like the last hour and a half over here. Who refused? Hell no, you ain't getting no mic. Buy your own mic. Buy your own mic. Read it again. Buy your own mic. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot say. Hey, matter of fact, turn the speaker to him. Turn that big ass speaker to him right there. We're going to blast the hell out of him. Read. <laughs> Neither his, hair, his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Read it again. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot say. Read it again. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Read. But your iniquities. But what? Your iniquities. Your what? Your iniquities. Your iniquities, your sins, have separated between you and your God. That's why our people are fucked up. Brother, you see this, right? You see this? This is why we so crazy. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.